Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Edge version 130 that's now rolling out, and Microsoft rolled out this latest release late yesterday in my part of the world on the 17th of October. Now to double check we have the update, as always we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, and latest version in bold after the update has been applied is 130.0.2849.46. Now, first of all, and as always, Microsoft say they have squashed and fixed various bugs and performance issues. And then we get the security fixes that have rolled out. And for Microsoft Edge itself, we have non-Edge-specific security updates that have rolled out for Edge itself. So that's quite an important load of uh, security fixes, nine in total. And then for the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, that will be more or less the same as Google Chrome's security fixes that rolled out earlier this week. So that would include 17 security fixes. And there are no zero days or any critical. We just get one high severity user after free in AR that's been addressed and then a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. So 17 Chrome security fixes have rolled out for the browser and nine edge specific for the actual browser itself. Now focusing on some other fixes that Microsoft has listed um, that are important enough just to mention for this video. Apparently they fixed an issue that prevented the briefcase icon from appearing on the Edge settings sidebar page when Edge bar was disabled using the standalone hub sidebar enabled policy. Now that'll only really be affecting Windows 10 users using Edge because Edge bar is only available on Windows 10 where the sidebar can be placed on the desktop and be independent of the actual browser. And then they fixed an issue that caused rendering issues on some SharePoint sites. So those are two important fixes that have actually been listed for Edge version 130. Now focusing on what's new. Now first of all, I'm just going to show you a small little change that I have noticed that wasn't listed in the release notes. And if we head to our appearance page, there is a new toggle to show briefcase icon on work profiles. And this was in preview and has now made its way into the stable version. So if you are running a work profile, you'll be able to show briefcase icon on that work profile, just making distinguishing between, say, your your uh, personal and your work profile in the, in the browser, which I think is a nice move. And this will only work, as mentioned, if you are running a work profile, and I'm not, so I can't actually demonstrate that, but um, that's toggled off by default. But if you want to differentiate between work and personal, toggle that on. Um, I think that's a nice little small step in the right direction. Now, the big one with this update is that, um, first of all, you can see that the settings here to the left-hand side in the navigation panel has now been placed into three sections, where previously this was all placed together. And this is very similar to what we get in Google Chrome. So if I just pop over to Chrome quickly, you can see the same thing. So here we get our first section, our second section, and then our third section. So it seems now that Microsoft is adopting that as part of the actual um, settings layout when it comes to the navigation pane. And speaking of settings, and I have posted on this previously when it, um, when it was still in preview, they are now elevating top settings and improving settings page navigability. And they say that to make finding browser settings more efficient, Microsoft Edge is introducing three navigation improvements to Edge settings. And as I've mentioned previously, nothing is changing with the functionality of any of the actual settings. And all the settings stay on the same page as they are, are now currently, but will be behind clickable sections. And just take note, this is on a control rollout, and I'm not seeing... Um, those features yet uh, in the stable version. It is on a controlled rollout, but I have extensively covered this when it was in preview. So for this one, I'm just going to head over to Edge Canary, where I can show you exactly what's going on. So this is on a controlled rollout now in Edge version 130. And first of all, the first of the three changes is they've introduced um, quick access to the most used settings, actions, 
on the profile page. This is the first landing page when you go into settings. So that's the first that's on a control rollout um, in Edge version 150. And then the second one is they've, if we head over to the densely populated settings pages like privacy search and services and the appearance page, you can see things are looking a little bit different. Cookies and site permissions. So as an example, the highly uh, the densely populated pages now um, are easier to navigate where they've introduced quick access to the most used actions located on that page. So clicking the button with the name of the setting takes users directly to its location. So customize theme, there we go, you get the idea. And then the third thing, as you can see, is for these densely populated pages like privacy search and services, appearance, cookies and site permissions, and also system and performance, by the way, um, each lengthy section of settings will be a clickable table of contents. So as an example, on the system and performance page, if you click on system, it then takes you to the system related settings. And then if you click on performance, it takes you to the performance related settings. So you get the general idea. And Microsoft says this helps users locate settings directly and avoid unnecessary scrolling. So if you've not seen these new um, kind of um, this new layout to the settings in the stable, as mentioned, it's on a control rollout. So um, I'm not seeing it yet in stable. This is in Canary. And when I first posted on this, when it was in preview, I said I didn't really like this new layout, but I'm actually getting quite used to it. I think it does kind of make navigating through the settings in the Edge browser a lot more functional and a lot, it just declutters the look and feel a little bit. Although there's a couple of extra clicks, but I am actually quite liking it and I have changed my mind since first posting on that in preview. So quite a lot going on with these settings and the layout of that um, elevating top settings and improving settings page navigability in version 130. Now, just the last one to mention for this video, it, it um, is in regards to Edge on Mac OS which according to Microsoft now opens links in Teams. So they say that when Microsoft Edge is configured as the browser to open web links in Teams, then links in Teams chat will be opened through Edge and Edge launches in the profile that matches with the auth authenticated profile. So if you are using Edge on Mac OS, um, this feature is on a controlled feature rollout. So just take note of that. And Microsoft seems to be doing this with a lot of the new features that are rolling out to the stable version of Edge. A lot of these features are on a controlled rollout. So just take note of that. So guys, that's more or less what's new in Edge version 130, which started rolling out uh, yesterday on the 17th and is now the latest release when it comes to Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.